talking to you and Kiguta and as you've rightly put it this is a segment that keeps in the loop on what is trending on alternative media and uh, Kenyans have taken to social media to mourn total man that is Kipeto Nicholas Kiprona Rabi Watt who passed away in Nairobi yesterday following a long illness let us take a look at some of the tweets posted under the hashtag RIP be what all right and uh, Patrick Kazola says uh, we have lost two prominent leaders within five days Kenya is a morning nation we should hold more prayer meetings than political rallies Andrew Kipko H. Sudi says, uh, My sincere and heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of Nicholas Biwot. May he rest in peace. And Kigen Albert says, This is a sad week in Kenya. Lost two iconic figures. Rest in, rest in peace, Biwot. Rest in peace, Nkaseri. May God be with your families and grant peace to your souls. And finally, Captain Brian Kirui says, He gave, that is Biwot, gave our family overwhelming support when at uh, Malel Nancy was running for member of parliament for Bomet East, a true total man. Rest in peace, be what? And may be what? Soul rest in peace. All right, and moving on to another story. Yesterday, NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga lashed out at President Uhuru Kenyatta in a tirade of tweets accusing the head of state of propagating a false narrative that Mr. Odinga is bent on ensuring that there will be power sharing between NASA and Jubilee formations. After the August 8th general election, Odinga refuted the alleged claims by President Kenyatta in a tweet saying, and I quote him, Uhuru is unashamedly propagating no some fantasies and lies. No one believes we have no plans of sharing power with you, Mr. President. All right, and in what sections of term the classy response to Mr. Odinga, Uhuru tweeted, My brother Raila Odinga, happy to see you have recovered. <laughs> wow. That's such a classy response. And a lot of people actually have taken to social media to uh, react to that uh, tweet by President Kenyatta and uh, Honorable Raila Odinga. And this is what some actually said. Josh, that is at uh, I am underscore Mwita, wish you two could be responding to each other more often. Another one, Bonfest Njenga says, wow, that's a great coming from a great uh, leader. Let us all support peace. And another one, uh, that is Abed Lelgo says, Thank you, Mr. President, for checking on your brother at Rail Odinga. And uh, finally, uh, Chunga Vandu says, Baba, our prayers are strong and God is with Kenya. Thanks for checking on a brother. Jane in peace is what we want from you two loved leaders. Wow. I wish uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, the NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga could engage on Twitter more often and spread messages. Of Hopefully it won't go the Trump way. I hope so too. Actually a lot of people on uh, the Twitter feeds were saying that we hope it won't go the mad slinging and Trump way. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on to another story that uh, in Uganda, Kiadondo East MP, that is Bonnie Wine, whose real name is Robert Kiagulani was sworn in yesterday at Uganda's parliament. As soon as he had stepped out of his car alongside his wife, Bobby, Bobby was met by a huge group of reporters eager to have his say on finally getting to parliament. And this is what he said, I quote him, the last time I was in parliament, I was in standard one, that was in the year 1989. Bobby Wine was the first time I elective in I was the first time a person to be elected into politics, that is from music. Uh, and he beat five other seasoned politicians in a, in a very uh, hotly contested by election held in late July, l late June, sorry, and was widely celebrated. His win was widely celebrated by his supporters. Let's take a look at uh, the video of uh, Bobby Wine being sworn in at parliament buildings in Uganda yesterday. Faithful service to this parliament and support and uphold the constitution of the Republic of Uganda by law established. So help me God. All right, I'm tempted to ask, and a lot of people are, are coming from the entertainment in different career scenes just to venture into the so-called murky waters of politics. Do you have uh, any political ambition someday? What? <laughs> no comment. I'm not speaking to the media. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, and Kigota has actually declined to speak to the media about whether she has what political magazeti, ambition. Watu wa magazeti, yafana. watu wa magazeti, anasema tukua misquoted. All right, mm. we take that. And Kigota has no comment on whether she'll one day see Oh my gosh, Lesi. could you stop with it and move on? Seriously, All right, guys. I can see Anne Kigota there <laughs> getting a bit uneasy. Let me move on. And rarely do we see a head of state drive a bus unless it is President Uru Kenyatta, of course. He understands when and how to change gears. The head of state had recently promised to donate a school bus to Maasai Girls High School. And having delivered on the promise, he launched it in style by being the first person to drive the bus. Let us watch that video that is currently circulating extensively on social media. Karibuni tumefika. Asante. sana. Thank you. Mwalimu. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Wow. And as I said it right there, it's only President Uhuru Kenyatta who can sit on the driver's seat and get behind the wheels. And even say Karibuni to Mefika. Wow. All right, we're moving on to another story in the, father, uh, in the Father's International scene that is in the UK. A Church of England clergy have been given the go ahead to conduct services in jeans and trainers following a vote by the General Synod. It means clergy are now officially allowed to lead services in casual clothing. The vote comes only weeks after MPs were told they no longer have to wear ties in the House of Commons, ending a long-standing convention. And the rationale behind priests ditching the traditional vestments and wearing what they want is to make the church more relevant to the modern world. And that is according to the members who spoke to uh, media in the United Kingdom. I'm just trying to imagine if such kind of a decision or rather move was uh, introduced in Kenya where members of the clergy can, uh, can be allowed to preach to us on the pulpit wearing jeans, trousers, just to, re just to connect with the, with the youth. I'm trying to imagine how, uh, how much of a social media buzz will be created around that particular move. But we can only wait and see if it will actually be adopted in Kenya. And finally, a CMB Prezo, that is Kenyan rapper, has blasted his fellow musician Colonel Mustafa, saying Mustafa is struggling to get back on his feet musically years after he sank into oblivion. Speaking to Radio Citizen Mambo Mseto host, that is William Tuva Prezo, accused Mustafa of lacking exposure, christening the Dodo Masingida, hitmaker Amshamba. And, and this is what he said, I understand Mustafa's troubles, he wants to get back on his feet musically but, but he is finding it to be very difficult no one listens to his music no one understands his music instead of politely requesting me preserve the king to help him revive his career which is headed for the abyss he resorts to beefing and it will be remembered in early may 2017 colonel mustafa claimed that Prezo's ex-partners left him because he was childish it seems like uh, the beef between Colonel Mustafa and Prezo will not go away anytime soon. And at one point, even uh, Colonel Mustafa referred to CMB Prezo as a socialite. And Jaguar actually echoed what Colonel Mustafa used to refer to CMB Prezo as a socialite. And we'll keep you updated on www.edaily.co.ke as much as possible on uh, news about uh, celebrities making headlines in the country, in Africa, and also the rest of the world. That is all we had for the trends and entertainment segment. My name is Brano Cott. Do have a fulfilling afternoon ahead. Back to you, and Kigota. Thank you so much, Brian, for bringing us up to speed. And Salim Swale now joins us at Upashe. Mengi Zaidi. <laughs> Salim Kwako. Nafikiri ani nabidi tuanze darasa masomo ya Kiswahili kwa upande wa wazazi. Mbona ni hizo sali? Leo naona mbona hivi tena? Nimekata kuzungumza na vyombo vya habari Brian na kwa kimoto. Kidogo sali msole nilimuuliza ani kuguta yuapo ana azma ya kuwa wana 